Otis in Second City this week with anchor George Kaliotis. <laughs> Special guest, Rebecca Mader. <laughs> and introducing Janelle Benish as the nurse. Shooting, Sarah Palin denied being insensitive to the Jewish community by using the term blood libel. She did say, however, that the media had gypped her. <laughs> According to his attorneys, alleged gunman Jared Lee Loughner is planning to mount a you'd go nuts too if everyone told you you looked like Uncle Fester from the Addams. <laughs> President Obama, shown here in a shirt for congressional quarterly swimsuit issue, urged the nation to focus on the positives of the event, that Representative Giffords had opened her eyes, that Senator McCain stood with him, and that 76-year-old Ben Badger, who tackled the gunman, now plays for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> Suffice it to say, most Americans happily are shaking off shooting snowstorms and snooky and returning to their normal lives. Whoa, dude, there she is. I'm gonna say something. No, 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 I got dibs, remember? No, man, you're gonna mess it up. Mm. Nonsense, watch the master of work. <laughs> hey. You, uh, you come here often? <laughs> Yeah. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> I know. But uh, before I do that, I just want to ask you one question. So they were all in purgatory, right? <laughs> I know you know, you gotta tell me. They were all in purgatory, so none of that stuff ever happened. Oh my god, they killed me off that show ages ago, just piss off! <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my friend just loves Lost. He's not very squabbed with the lady, so I'm sure you get that all the time. Yeah, yeah I do. Not often with the pickup line, but yes. <laughs> that must be so annoying. How can I make it up to you? Uh, Stolen and sour? Yeah, all right. Just dear God, please don't ask me about lost. <laughs> oh, God, of course not. No. But what's the deal with no ordinary family? <laughs> Does Victoria have a non-ordinary family, too? I, is she good or bad? How's Michael Chiklis? Oh, my God! Is that anything you lot care about? My TV shows. I mean, I'm a person with a myriad of hobbies, likes and dislikes, dislikes including men hitting on me just to ask me about my TV shows. I hate this stuff. Hey. <laughs> it's shit. I mean, are they hanging out old, giving out old spice at the door? It reeks in there. <laughs> <laughs> just for once. I just wish someone would talk to me like I'm a real person. If you two can't do it, then just piss off and bother someone else. You, 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 you are, are, are my constant. Would you like to come back to my place and we can move? Our islands? <laughs> and by move our islands, I mean... <laughs> oh, dude, totally messed that one up. Everyone knows Desmond was Faraday's constant. <laughs> where both sides of the political spectrum get together to review the news of the day. Today, 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 yes, today, the Tucson tragedy. On the right today, we are going to have Dale Robinson, founder of the Tea Party. Pam! Dale! <laughs> and on the left, as usual, formidable adversary, known for his work with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He's come all the way from the island of misfit toys. Charlie in a box. <laughs> 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 Thanks for inviting me, Pam. I must say I was quite surprised to receive your invitation. Because usually nobody wants a Charlie in the box. <laughs> <laughs> that is enough. Dale, the Tucson tragedy. Your thoughts? Your fault? No, of course not. The left says it is your fault. They're comparing the gunman to Nidal Hassan, the man that went crazy last year at Fort Hood. Well, let me just say this. 
They're using words to blame it on the tragedy. But unlike Hassan, who was a radical Muslim, influenced by radical Muslim talk, Jared Loeffner was a psychotic influence not by Tea Party, racist, hateful talk. There's a distinct difference. Words don't matter. Such a brilliant analysis. Thank you, I practice it. <sighs> Charlie in the back. <laughs> well, Pam, I would say that in both cases, words did matter. In, in my experience, a marginalized and unstable person can very easily be pushed over the edge by unrelenting, hateful speech. <laughs> and your experience? Oh, well, yes. Well, before Santa came to the island and gave us toys, a purpose, a reason to live, we lived desperate, meaningless lives. A desperation that led to tragedy. I'll never forget what my good friend, the train with square wheels, <laughs> got so enraged that he strapped a time bomb to his caboose and tried to drive it into the king's palace. But he never made it because he had square wheels. <laughs> All right, well, traitor in a box. Recently, Arizona passed a law that lets anyone and everyone carry a concealed weapon. So if someone in that crowd had actually practiced their Second Amendment rights, they could have taken that wacko down. Pam, Arizona recently cut its mental health budget by 47%. Oh, <laughs> That's right, cutting mental health budgets, lax gun control laws, hate speech, it's all part of it. You can't solve this problem with catchy slogans or by just taking someone out. We, we've all got to work together. Have, have you ever suffered, Pam? Of course not. <laughs> He's right. The train with square reels was messed up. So was he. So was you, Gun Cornelius. What about freedom? What about Take love? It. Take it easy, Robinson. Oh, no. Get yourself together. I can't. I've spent my whole life going them versus us. But it's all us. It's all me. Robinson, you're from the right. That's Get okay, it together. Bill. Let the healing begin. Hold me. Hold me. Oh, Jesus. I've had enough. Join us tomorrow when we discuss illegal immigration with our host Pat Buchanan and Homer J. Simpson. Pop star Justin Bieber spent time in the hospital following an, aller an allergic reaction he suffered on the set of CSI. His rep assured fans he is in the hospital, he is fine, and he checked in under his usual alias, Dorothy Hamilton. <laughs> 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 On Wednesday, Brandy Favre, the younger sister of quarterback Brett Favre, was arrested in a raid on a meth lab in Mississippi. Oh. Investigators had been looking for the lab for weeks, finding it after Ms. Favre left it, returned, left it. <laughs> <laughs> Former Congressman Tom DeLay has been sentenced to prison for three years for money laundering and conspiracy. DeLay, known as The Hammer during his days in Congress, will be known as The Nail in prison. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gonna get pounded. <laughs> Ball pee. <laughs> Snooki is on the road promoting her new novel, The Shore Life, a summer story about drinking, violence, and controversy. If this is your kind of read, also try Decision Points by George. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of protection, this month, troops in Afghanistan and Iraq are acclimating themselves to the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Soldiers, Miss Clawson is here in our mess tent today to brief you on the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Ma'am. Washington encourages you to feel comfortable disclosing your sexual preference or lifestyle choices to your fellow soldiers. I'm gay! <laughs> okay? Okay, now, you don't have to do it now. <laughs> Thank you, Private Miller. Uh, I hope you feel more comfortable. I do, sir. Me too. I like having sex with males. And I've been battling it for years now. But now that the American military thinks that it's okay, I kind of feel better about myself. Wow. That's really amazing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Um, I like anal. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl. She could use a toy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. I think what you're what you're trying to 
trying to say is that you're bisexual. Yeah. I'm trying to say that I like anal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, come and move this along. We got a control in 0800. I like it when a girl punches me in the throat. How can that is irrelevant. <laughs> I've been holding it in for far too long. I like to punch guys in the throat, having sex or not. <laughs> Sir, hearing that Jules likes to punch guys in the throat and that Harris likes to be punched in the throat, I feel like I appreciate them more as human beings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from now on, let's keep the talent to the disclosure of sexual impulses and identity. Um, since we're uh, expressing sexual identity, uh, Yes. Go ahead. Colonel, sometimes when I'm having doggy style with my wife, I think of you. I think I'm gay. <laughs> Sir, that has just given me a gay erection. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, now stop it. I have put this issue to bed. Ooh. I said stop. All right. Now we've dealt with this. The ban is over. Any more questions on the issue? Ma'am? Are you single? Where is the male G-spot? What is a donkey punch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not doing this anymore. Do not touch me. <laughs> so I think, I think Colonel Thompson is just a little, a little sensitive, you know, with the with the new rules. Um, to to answer your question, Private Andrews, um, when when someone is going down on you and you're just about to ejaculate, oh, what oh, they're wow. going to do is. They're 